Hello everyone, this is Anton and in this video I'm going to get into how I do tasks and projects in Obsidian. Now Obsidian is definitely not built to manage tasks, it's more of a note taking type of application for your knowledge base. But I wanted to combine task and note taking all into one particular space, workspace. And I wanted to show you how I'm doing it even though you might hear that it's not the best place to manage your task. Now on some level that is true if you're working with teams um, where you have to share a bunch of content with other individuals maybe you have to collaborate with them on documents and other tasks within a project and you want a more cohesive type of system for that then I would suggest using something um, like ClickUp which is a really good project management type of solution that combines a lot of um, really great features in it so I can't really say enough about ClickUp but this is not about ClickUp this is more about Obsidian and how you can manage more of your personal type tasks or projects where they're just you working on or managing those, act those actual tasks yourself but before we get into the video, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It helps the YouTube algorithms get this information out to other individuals just like yourself. And for another way to support the channel, go to my Buy Me A Coffee link down in the description and support the channel by buying me a coffee. And with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get over to the video. So first off, let me just create one note so you get a good understanding of what a task is if you're not familiar with Markdown. So a task basically looks like this here. You would have the dash with the square brackets and with, with this particular task you would have say task one. You put whatever you want here. You can put any kind of tag on there and you can also put a a, a date of sorts if you want to put some kind of time block on when it needs to be done. Now you can easily create more tasks in your in your document and this can start off from the the daily note which is typically where I'm starting my day click on the the calendar we'll switch over to that but if, if you want to mark these tasks off you can simply hit the, the height key on here, which is the command key and enter, or you can just type an X in this box, um, or you can go into preview mode and you can select these off, however you want to do them here. Now I've also shown a, a method in one of my other videos where, where you can have a, a particular file that's dedicated to note taking, and you can probably call that file your task file and you can have it dedicated so that every time you're going to uh, use a task you can just put the task in this particular file you can put it in a pane dedicated off to the side so as you're you're typing anything in a document you think about you need a task you can put it over here in that task file now I've moved away from this particular setup just because the flow in my writing it it moves me away from what I'm doing in the current document and takes me off of the out of that flow and into the, a different document and then I have to go back and forth. So instead now I just create the task in line with what I'm writing because I have a method of how later after I'm done I can get back to this task. I can find these tasks no matter where they are in my vault. And how I do that is I all I do is I just use the search function. So simple is typically the best route to go. And I found it's a lot simpler just to go ahead and search through all of my library for these tasks when I need to start focusing on managing tasks. So and one of the good things here is that you you can easily come in here and we can we can put in what we want to search for. For this particular one here, you'll have to put these in quotation marks. So we have quotation marks. It comes back with everything that has this particular indicator, which is used for a tag. So all those documents come back. We can also see here where it comes back with 
um, tests that are in a document where it's not a, a, an actual task, it's more of a, a document that has a t this task symbol in it. So the way you can get rid of that is we can just, just simply go ahead and put in a the negative sign here. So if you know how to use search in here, this is when you put this negative this negative symbol here, this excludes the thing that comes after it. So let's go ahead and put these in parentheses. And the parentheses is separating these two different searches. So now we have the complete search where what we're looking for is this and what we're excluding is this second part here. So I come back with less things that are not really tasked to me and I have everything that is a task no matter where it is in my document. We can see this one is the document we just created here on the side there. We can go ahead and delete that one. And we can now see where I have a couple project files or um, that have tasks in them. I have a template for daily notes that has tasks pre-populated in it. And I also have another project file here. So I haven't shown you the project files, but I want to stick to this search here and just move one step further. Because if you did not know, you can actually star searches. So right here, you can star current search. If I click that, what will happen is it will just create that search for me. I already have it in, in my starred pane right now. So I'll go ahead and remove this one. And if I go ahead and click that, it takes me to this search and it comes back with everything that I need to refer to when I'm in the process of organizing my task and working on these tasks. Now, this is one way to find the task easily within your vault. Very simple, easy to do, nothing hard about it. Now, this is good for whether the task is a one-off task or if the task is in a project. And the way I do the projects is I create a dedicated file for projects. I also have a folder that's dedicated for projects as well. So in this project here, we can see I have a few projects where I'm showing here. I have some of them that are related to a property where I'm renting them out or doing Airbnb. And there are some things that have activities where I have to do certain things on them. I can easily just put them in this project uh, file here, outline the task that needs to be done for the particular project where I give it a, an ID based on uh, part of the address. Now I have a couple other projects here that I'm working on as well, which are a bit more private, but in those, they're not much different from if you come into this demo document here where I have a bunch of notes, I have activities and tasks just like here, and those will show up and I can easily just click on it, go in there, work on these tasks, mark them off um, as they're done, or assign um, events or reminders for these. There's one other thing that you can do as well that I found as a community plugin. It's called Checklist. So right now I have it installed we have this pane here for the checklist, it says to-do list. And this will do a similar thing that I'm doing with search, but it's using the, uh, the tag to-do. So if I apply the tag to-do to this one task, it shows me the file that it's in, and then it gives me the actual task here. Now I've noticed that if I take this and I put it at the top here, that it will bring back all the ones below it. So if I wanted to use this plugin, have this pane here for ease of use, using this tag will put everything in a pane, similar to what I was doing with putting all my tags in a single file and having it in a pane off to the side. But in this way, the actual task does not have to be in a single file. So I can come into this, this project and here, if I put in the to-do there, 
they will both show up and they will be there right now they're grouped by the actual file that they're in so if we go into the plugin we can see here a checklist we have a couple different things here you can change that that hashtag that's required you can also show completed tasks you can change the group by to either the tag or the page and you can sort them by from old to new now i'm not quite sure what this old to new is whether it's the 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 file or if there's a notation for having a time within the same line as the task that it will uh, sort this from old to new i'm assuming this is going off the actual file the created date or or modified date so this is just another tool that you can use while you're in Obsidian to kind of manage your tasks across multiple files. And if you're done with one of them, let me see, I'm in, let's come in here, take a look at this one here. And let's go ahead and click this one off. You can see it goes ahead and marks those off as well in the document that you're in. Even if I wasn't in this document, it will still mark those off. Okay, so that was a quick look in how I'm managing tasks in Obsidian and also projects in Obsidian. Just to give you some ideas on what you could do in your workflow and your system on for managing tasks. So far it's been working really well for me and I also have another video that I'm gonna make on how I move from Obsidian to mobile. And in that video, I'll show how I use Note Plan 3, which takes the same concept that I'm doing here in Obsidian and moves it to the my mobile devices. OK, so that brings this video to an end. If you found this helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.